What's up YouTube? Um, I'm back out today, nice and early. Uh, it's just after six in the morning and um, I'm at a place uh, that I refer to as a as an old mining camp. Um, you can see here, uh, there's all sorts of um, foundations, old foundations and so on. Guys years ago used to mine all at the bottom here and there's old uh, there's old mine shafts all along this ridge. Um, so I've been hunting this place for a while. Um, I'm out with the Amphibio Multi, uh, again with the, the four tone, running at 94 gain. Um, my disc is on 15, and uh, I'll show I'll show you guys the settings so you can refer back to them if you want. Um, I've been to the site a few times, um, so I refer to it as the mining camp. Um, we found many, many mining relating or related tools, um, you know, a lot of lead and pewter and, uh, or mercury that the guys used to, to mine gold. Um, but there are also, there are also a lot of, uh, farmhouses in this area. So we find a lot of personal items and, uh, cutlery and, and we find jewelry and we found coins and, um, and then also why I keep on coming back to this place is there's a lot of military action um, and activity that happened here. So so we find a lot of military related items. Um, so in any case, I want to jump in. Uh, this is my first hole. Um, I just got this buckle out. Over here is a nice little, uh, I think this is a boot buckle. Um, so what's nice is uh, it, we find quite a lot of these and uh, we'll check now what it says but some of them say British some of them say Paris some of them are just blank um, it's right over here I want to see if I can um, open this up and let's clean it and see what this one says so this one says so this one just says Primo Primer um, if you can have a look there Yeah, there we are. So, uh, yeah, nice little buckle. I see this one has some bit of fancy um, over there. So that's quite nice. I don't see that often. But in any case, so these are like little strap boot buckles. Um, always nice to find. So first hole, first target. Uh, and uh, let's see what we can take out today. Okay, guys. So uh, I've got a nice tight signal over here. Uh, it's coming in. At a nice 70, low 80s, high 70s. So I want to dig this with you guys and um, let's see what it is. Let's see, let's see. It's been raining for the last few days, uh, or for two days, and uh, so that's why I took a chance coming out here, um, because I know the ground's going to be nice and soft, and that's going to help us a lot. So let's see if it's out the plug. Oh, there we are. What is that? Oh, harmonica reed. These things come in at such great tones and signals so cool now we know what it is nice one on to the next one right guys so I've moved on um, and I just want to show you guys this is the main the main camp or mining camp you can see all these ruins over here um, it's going all the way right to the bottom there's some guys flying micro lights or whatever. Check out all these rooms. So there's a crap load. Um, so I suspect there were tents and all sorts of jazz all around this area. Um, so, any case, like I said, um, I've just dug a, a target over here that's popped out. 
are very deep and it's the back part of a spoon or a fork or something so um, looks like it says something at the back so I can't really see I have a clear hallmark or anything it must have been silver plated or whatever so um, yeah like I was saying find a lot of cutlery and so on um, but I like finding these that's nice any case up to the next one hey guys so uh, I've decided to go to a different location uh, because of all the rain all of these little termites came out by the millions and uh, I just got attacked and yeah check out my back window if you can see but there are a gazillion of them all over um, found now on my my front window and they are everywhere everywhere you can just see them so I'm going to a different location and um, yeah let's see let's see if it's a bit better otherwise I might just have to call it a day and then come come through again uh, in the week so any case let's go have a look at that uh, another location and we'll make the call cool what's up guys um, I'm back here out today on a different site I'm out here with uh, my mate Tace and uh, we're not far from home but um, I've hit uh, uh, another mining camp that we've hit before um, but we haven't been here in a very very long time so uh, yeah we're gonna see what we can take out I've already um, got two targets so it looks like um, it's obviously an empty cartridge in this yeah looks like it could be from uh, it could be a small musket ball or shrapnel ball um, so yeah I'll let you guys know when I'm on a good target and uh, yeah see you now what's up guys so uh, I'm just calling my my detecting buddy so he can swear on camera on what I just found so I actually thought it might be a bottle cap let me just switch this off so I thought it was uh, not a bottle cap but a shotgun shell so I picked it up and uh, I've seen what it is right over there I think I'm actually just gonna hand drop it to Tace so he can shit himself. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a ring, nice horse buckle ring, patterns. So check and that. Let's just stand so you can see. Nice details. Really, really nice. Awesome. Okay, guys, our next hole. Um, actually, thought it was a coin. Got excited for a while, uh, for a bit, but um, it is one of those trouser buttons. Let's see if there we are. Yeah, nice. I love finding these buttons. In any case, cool. On to the next one. All right, guys, next hole, and it's one of these. Buckles again. I don't want to call claw buckles. I don't see anything on this one. This one is just plain. But uh, nice find. Oh, there's some patterns. Yeah, we'll clean it up and show you guys. Cool. On to the next one. 
What's up guys, I just want to do a, a quick wrap up. Um, these are basically a summary of the best finds um, out of two little spots that I, that I went out two or three hours. Uh, lots of junk, but uh, still plenty of goods to find. The first site wasn't as, uh, or rather the first site was much better than the other sites. Um, it's a pity I couldn't stay there longer. Um, but let's go through it quickly. So, Harmonica Reed. Um, we find these plenty plentiful, um, like a tent grommet. This little lead musket ball, um, shotgun shell, uh, other cases, looks like a Martini Henry in a 303 caliber. Um, this is like a little lock. We find also, I find a lot of these. I'm not sure where they, where they came in or what they were used for, but, um, we use quite a, or oh, I find quite a bit of them. This over here, um, it looks like it could be from an old cap gun, nice little patterns. I found some of these before, um, couldn't find any other pieces. The spoon from the mining camp, this nice little buckle, also from that mining camp, which says uh, Prima. Um, I've now obviously also found out that these are not boot buckles, but they are actually claw buckles. They are referred to as claw buckles, and they were on belts. Um, this four hole trouser button, some coins, nice 1926, one penny, um, and a new denomination, one cent, 1961. Um, this is interesting. This looks like it could have been part of a, a metal clasp or something. Um, I might be wrong, but um, it was it was interesting. And then the found find of uh, those trips, I polished this up. This is that ring that I found. It is copper. Um, or brass, rather one of the two. Polished it up, nice patterns, and uh, an amazing, amazing find. Love this ring, looks really nice. Um, so yeah. Again guys, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, thank you for watching, take it easy.